Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is an ovulation and how does it affect female fertility? An ovulation happens when an egg, also called as an ovum, doesn't release from your ovary during your menstrual cycle. An egg is needed to have a pregnancy. Since multiple hormones are involved in ovulation, there are many causes of anovulation. Chronic anovulation, which means it occurs many times, is a common cause of infertility. So let's look at the signs and symptoms of anovulation. Well, being aware of the general signs of ovulation and keeping track of your menstrual cycles can help alert you to the signs and symptoms of anovulation. It is important to remember, however, that having a period doesn't necessarily mean you've ovulated. Let's look at some signs and symptoms of anovulation. Having irregular periods. If the length of time in between your periods keeps changing, it's considered an irregular period. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days, but it can be a couple of days shorter or longer than that. Having very heavy or light periods is also a symptom. A heavy period is defined by losing blood, which is excessive to about 80 ml in within your period and having a period that lasts longer than seven days. Blood loss of less than 20 ml throughout your period is considered a light period. It's not like we can measure it, of course. Having a light period, Amenorrhea, also called as, is also a symptom. Missing one or more periods without being pregnant could be a sign of anovulation. Having the lack of cervical mucus is also a sign. Right before and during ovulation, you usually have the most vaginal discharge called cervical mucus. It usually looks like raw egg whites and if you don't have this discharge, you may be experiencing anovulation. Having an irregular basal body temperature is also a symptom. Your basal body temperature is the temperature of your body when you are fully at rest. It's usually taken after you wake up and before you've done any type of physical movement or activity. Ovulation can cause slight increase in your basal body temperature. What causes anovulation is our next question. Well, in general, the cause of anovulation is an imbalance of one or more certain hormones, especially the hormones involved in ovulation, which include gonadotrophin releasing hormone, also called as GnRH, FSH follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone LH, also polycystic ovarian syndrome, obesity, adrenal gland issues, pituitary gland disorders such as Cushing syndrome or acromegaly, certain medications such as anabolic steroids then pituitary gland dysfunction also called as hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism also is one of the causes your pituitary gland produces lh and fsh which are needed for ovulation if your pituitary gland isn't releasing enough lh or fsh it can cause an ovulation so what are the conditions that can cause your pituitary gland to not release enough lh and fsh having a very low body weight or body mass index, very long term excessive exercise, pituitary gland tumor damage to your pituitary gland also is one of the reasons. When there are higher levels of prolactin also called as hypoprolactinemia, it can also lead to anovulation. Prolactin is a hormone that's released by your pituitary gland that's mainly known for stimulating breast milk production also called as lactation. Prolactin also suppresses LH and FSH which are needed for ovulation. Because of this, high amounts of prolactin in your blood can cause an ovulation. Okay, there are some situations which can also lead to hyperprolactinemia. They may include breastfeeding, type of pituitary gland tumor called as prolactinoma, damage to your pituitary gland, damage or illness to your kidneys, liver or thyroid, and certain medications such as psychotropic drugs, narcotic drugs that treat uh, ulcers or elevated levels of stomach acid also cause hyperprolactinemia. Then low levels of thyroid hormones called as hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid also can lead to anovulation. Your thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland in the front of your neck. It produces two hormones which are very important for bodily functions called as T3 and T4. T3 called as triodothyronine, T4 called as thyroxine. Now having low levels of thyroxine or T4 in your blood can increase the amount of prolactin your pituitary gland makes. And as we are aware, prolactin suppresses LH and FSH which are needed for ovulation. Therefore, a low level of thyroxine can cause anovulation. How is anovulation treated? Well, treatment for anovulation depends on correcting the hormonal imbalance that's causing it. 
In general, lifestyle changes that may be included to treat iron ovulation could be managing your stress, maybe managing your weight and also exercise. Other treatments for iron ovulation include certain medications to treat your conditions. If you have a condition that's causing your iron ovulation that's treatable, your clinician will likely prescribe you medication which could also treat your iron ovulation. For example, if you have hypothyroidism which can cause iron ovulation, taking medications to treat your Hypothyroidism could also treat your anovulation. Adjusting current medications. Some medications can cause anovulation such as anti-epileptic drugs or anti-psychotic drugs. If you are unable, if you are trying to conceive, your clinician might adjust your current medications to try to treat your anovulation. Clomiphene citrate. This medication helps correct ovulatory irregularities. Then there is human chorionic gonadotrophin injection. This hormone causes your ovary to release an egg. A synthetic form of it can be injected to help treat anovulation. So there are a lot of medications to help you deal with anovulation. You need to bring out your signs and symptoms to your clinician who can then diagnose the reason for eggs not ovulating and therefore put you on the right path to treatment. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us at Ziva Fertility. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.